Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst for Storage Switzerland. You know, when we look at what's going on in data centers, one of the biggest challenges that we see people struggling with is managing unstructured data, and especially at scale. As we, as we get larger and larger capacities, higher and higher file, file counts, that really becomes a challenge uh, for IT professionals in managing that data. Joining me on the whiteboard to discuss this is uh, David Clements with Igneous. David, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So, uh, to kind of walk me through what you have drawn up on the uh, board here. So, this is an example of a t typical customer environment that okay. we see. And so, typically a customer starts off with an environment where they have one solution, like an Isilon solution, it's nice and tidy, they have a few petabytes of data in that environment. And then, uh, different workload requirements kind of force them out into different solutions, like NetApp solutions or pure FlashBlade. Gotcha. And then I guess, you know, as you start to expand that out, managing and protecting that data just becomes increasingly challenging, right? Yeah, so typically their go-to option is replication. Right. And so they'll have a replication with their Isilon environment and they'll have to also now add a replication in for the NetApp. This creates silos between those solutions and lack of interoperability between them. And then as they put in something like pure flash blade, they don't really have a, a replication scheme to be able to accomplish that same task. Right, so I guess for the customer, now you're talking about number one, 2x the hardware, and then number two, you got all these different you know programs essentially that you got to learn to be able to protect your data, right? Yeah, it creates a great deal of stress on both manpower and budget. So let's talk about that. So as you talk to uh, some of your customers, what are some areas that they're struggling with? So our customers struggle um, with the ability to have visibility into um, that environment as well as just kind of understanding all the different interfaces. So if they're NFS, SMB, or even S3, how do they manage all those uh, multiple interfaces? Okay. And, and with increasing pressure for um, efficiency and moving now workloads out to multiple clouds, they're also struggling with the ability to manage the data both on and off site. Yeah, because it can be spread across multiple. Yeah, multiple data centers. Um, some of them are considered primary, some of them are considered secondary, that kind of feel like offsite solutions. And then when, as you add in multiple clouds, then you really are talking about even more offsite. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm assuming you guys have some ways to help people with uh, these three areas. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so Igneous provides uh, data management service um, as a service to the okay. organization. And so what we can do is we can give you the ability to continuously discover everything that's going on across this entire environment, okay. regardless of the um, interface as well. So that gives you visibility and to be able to tell things like how old is your data, how active is your data. It allows you to categorize data so you can understand how valuable that data is overall. Um, it, it lets you understand what interfaces that you're running across, what protocols you're running across as well as determining what's on-site and what's off-site. And so now you can actually set up data protection schemes that match the quality and the value of that data. Okay, so, so walk me through what that looks like. Is, is it a, a box that I put in? How does that work? Yeah, so the solution um, could be handled either on-premise or off for okay. them. Um, typically what we'll see a customer do is they'll come in and they'll land an Igneous solution on-site. Okay. Um, that way it's close to all of this NAS data. Um, and we'll then um, create a, a ability to then scan that data without having the latency of going across to WAN or something like sure. that to be able to gather it all. Once that's all scanned and indexed, um, and they establish uh, a policy to protect that data mm -hmm. and or move that data from one um, system to another, uh, they can determine if they want to then have that data go off-site for data protection or maybe off-site just for the archive portion um, or have it just continue to reside on-site or even move to another you know, another primary NAS solution. Okay, so that, so you scan and then they have the option to protect data, which is obviously important, but you said something else important there, move, so they can actually use this to kind of control the growth of these systems on-prem as well, correct? Right, so as they as they add um, the ability to have visibility into that data and they mm -hmm. find out what's important, what's valuable, okay. they can move that data off of, let's say, the Isilon environment over to the pure flash blade.
uh, which is their high performance solution because it's valuable and very active data. Right. Um, and it may be even iterative data, you know, where they're actually kind of changing and rerunning jobs against the same different or varied work sets. So sure. they can have the ability to do that. And, kind of and, and I think that's important because a lot of times when we think about moving data, we're always thinking about moving it to some cheap thing so I can save a bunch of money. But right. having that visibility gives me a, a different vector, really, right? Where I can say, oh, geez, this data is really active. If I put it over on those pure flash bait, I can get things done faster, right? Right. And you, you can think of using Igneous also to help build out like an extensible workflow for your data. Mm -hmm. So now your workflow used to be, hey, it's all sitting here and I just want to archive it. But you may need to make iterations on that data. You may need to put it back and forth onto some high performance compute environment. Um, and, and then you may have new data that comes out of that. So you can create a workflow by, by kind of managing that flow from each system. And, and then does this replace the need for me to have replication and things like that? Is that all kind of condensed into a single interface? Yeah, so then you have one solution that can, you can use for protection. Um, you can use it for archives, so that can be your lower cost you know, tier to store off. Um, you can use, also kind of look at it as a location for data of record. So your data of record resides there, but only your working sets are sitting out on your primary storage. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can use this solution for all of those types of different workflows. And then, and then part of it is, you know, we talk about moving to accelerate, but I'm assuming we could also absolutely move to lower costs as well. Yeah. Right? yeah. So if you have work sets that are looking, that don't have as much activity on them, but, or maybe they've gone through some type of uh, machine driven process and now they're ready for just end users to kind of scan through it. Sure. You can move that maybe down to the ISLAM, which may be your lower cost tier, but then present that right up to the workstation. Okay, and then walk me through the cloud. Is that is that a, a storage destination point or can I compute on the data up there as well? So the you can take your data and move it and manage it in any locations, okay. either on and off site. So um, if you actually trying to move a workload up into the cloud, you can move your data into a high performance uh, blob storage or something of that nature okay. um, up into the cloud. Or you can move it, if you're not moving the workload, but you're just looking for cheap and deep and endless storage, then you can put it to an archive tier out to the cloud and just let it rest. There. And all of that's being done through your guys' product. And all of that can be wow. done through our. Okay. So then, I, you know, one of the big challenges, the things that kind of annoy me as we, we start to look at solutions like this, is the upfront cost is is so high that people go, you know, I'd rather just not manage my data because it's just too painful to pay for it. Uh, how, how does somebody acquire this? I mean, you have as a service down. Explain what that means. Yeah, so uh, what as a service means is we basically we will drop a solution into your environment that makes sense for you, that has the TCO that you're looking for. You, typically, it'll land in an area of data protection okay. um, because that infrastructure is very expensive. You're buying duplicate systems. You're buying large tape you know, backup solutions. It's a very expensive solution. Once you've done that, now we're kind of sitting in the right place within your environment to start just understanding and scanning everything. Okay. Um, so that's the typical. And then the as a service means you're just ingesting the, the uh, user interface of the solution. Once you establish a policy or you've kind of created a category for your data mm -hmm. and you want to kick off a job, we'll manage that job going forward, make sure that it runs properly for you, as well as doing the typical things you expect from a vendor like patching and managing the system and replacing drives and those kinds so of things. So they don't have to worry about that part of it. They anymore. don't have to worry if something happens within the environment, let's say a network interface goes down, we'll call them and we'll say, hey, we can't reach that box any, any longer. To make sometimes the managing of the process is, is more painful than that. Yeah, process, I mean, so. in a typical environment like this, there's like morning, daily morning meetings to look at backup processes. I've been there. Yeah. yeah. And you have to say, restart them all through the day. That's all basically managed through code and a mm -hmm. DevOps approach in our, in our platform. And then when we run into something that can't be restarted because of a, a, a physical outage or something at that point, then it gets escalated and, and we get proactive and talk to you awesome. about it. Well, David, thank you very much for joining us. Today. Thank you. So there you have it. If you're looking to really get your arms around uh, data, especially unstructured data, uh, moving to a, a single interface that can give you visibility into that data, uh, manage all the different uh, components uh, that re re relate around uh, unstructured data management, and then also being able to manage that data no matter where it is, multiple data centers and, of course, multiple clouds. Uh, Igneous is an excellent solution to look at. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.